We're also going to join the band. We're going to be monitoring. All right? Thank you. So we shall now invite our advocate of the minister, of course, to see another part. They should be done. So Congratulate the Ghana Rugby team and the Ghana Rugby Federation for the successes you have chalked in just three years. I've had some discussions with your president, and I believe it is through those discussions that this meeting was arranged. For the last couple of days, I have not been well. So it's my first day back in the office today. And one of the reasons why I'm back in the office today is because of your visit. So it tells you how important those of us in this ministry uh, see your exploits and how much we value what you are doing for Ghana and for rugby. I followed rugby a couple of years ago when I used to be a student in a university somewhere in Cardiff. And it was my first experience of how rugby was played. In those days, students would go and look for a job, either in the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff or in the Rugby Stadium, which were just, you know, close by each other. And you either were employed to do crowd control, stay among the spectators to make sure that everything went according to. So that was my, apart from watching on TV, that was my closest experience when it came to experiencing how rugby was played. And you know that rugby is usually um, uh, experienced with heavy, heavily built men and a lot of chanting like yeah. has been <laughs> <laughs> a lot of chanting like has been seen here today. Like the Director General of the NSC said. There are several disciplines or sporting disciplines that as a country we have endeavored to engage in. And year in, year out, government through our small might try to help to present teams not only on the national stage, on the West African front, on the African front, and beyond the continent of Africa, participating in several tournaments, all in a bid to bring some glory and to fly the flag of our country high. I believe that in the last couple of years, if any team has done that and done it successfully, it is this team. And that is why 
we will take special interest in making sure that we also do what we can from our side to help you to succeed. So once again, you are welcome to the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Uh, I will urge that moving forward, anything that has to do with rugby, this is your father, the Director General. The Director General of the National Sports Authority. The National Sports Authority is in charge of every sporting discipline in our country. And therefore, if you have any issues, if you have any queries, and you have any discussions that you want to have, you direct it towards the National Sports Authority. Beyond him, you have me, you have Chief Director, you have the man who holds our purse, <laughs> you have the technical advisor, and then we have the ultimate, our minister. Any issue that you want us to discuss that will promote the development of rugby and the welfare of your players, we have more than enough. We have a listening ear and we will continue to listen in order for us to help you to succeed in your endeavors. I know that you've participated in a few tournaments. You've made us proud at the bronze level, at the silver cup level. And we're praying that you go higher and higher to bring more laurels to our country. So I would like to thank you very much on behalf of minister and the ministry and to urge you that to do more in order to bring even much more glory to our country. Like has been said already, in Ghana, what we know is soccer. And everybody watches soccer in Ghana. That is why it is unprecedented that a rugby team has emerged from Ghana and is, you know, making waves across the world. It is something that I am proud of, and it is something that as individual members of this team and the federation, you should be very proud of. It is, it is a success that you have chalked that is enviable. And I wish you all the best in your future uh, endeavors. Thank you very much. to the team for or to at least begin to reduce the burden of debt and how much the Federation has contributed to these successes and the several successes. So that is our widow's might for now. As we, as we move forward and as we work together, I believe that there will be much, much, much better things to share. Sure. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, to be frank, I can see my colleagues are fully
Hey, 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 hey,